Mr. Nigel Dodds. Mr. Speaker, um, and may I begin first by welcoming the new Shadow Secretary of State to his post and wishing the outgoing Shadow Secretary of State very well in his new uh, post. I look forward to working with, uh, with, with him um, in the same way as his predecessor. Would the Secretary of State cut to the chase here and tell us what is the cost estimated in terms of lost revenue to the Treasury and also in terms of human misery? of the decision by Sinn Féin and the SDLP to block the full establishment of the National Crime Agency in Northern Ireland? Um, I believe that um, the NCA's current remit within Northern Ireland will provide useful assistance in relation to criminal matters which are fall within the responsibilities that have not been uh, devolved, such as fuel smuggling, um, international smuggling of drugs and firearms. Um, it will be able also to provide advice and assistance on matters within the devolved spare sphere, such as child protection. It is, though, very important, I think, th for the Northern Ireland political parties to look carefully at this issue. I believe that extending the NCA's remit to devolved matters would considerably assist the fight against serious crime in Northern Ireland, and I hope that the current discussion result in an agreement on this matter. Mr. Nigel Dodds. Grateful to the Secretary of State. And would she agree with the assessment of the Northern Ireland Justice Minister, who has been quite unequivocal in his uh, denunciation of the current situation, in which he said, we are effectively asking some law enforcement agencies to operate with one arm tied behind their backs. This is an outrageous situation. It can only be the benefits of drug smugglers, human traffickers, yeah, yeah. cyber criminals, uh, fuel launderers, and all the rest. Apart from convening talks, can the Secretary of State tell us what the government is actually going to do to ensure that the citizens and taxpayers of Northern Ireland do not be subject to this criminal empire building? Yeah. Well, a huge amount of work has gone on in terms of providing the reassurance that um, Northern Ireland political parties have asked for on the consistency with the police and justice settlement. Also, very productive work has taken place between the Home Office and the Justice Minister on transitional arrangements, for example, on those cases which Soccer had taken on, which um, can be continued by NCA within the provision of the current um, purposes, and we will continue to work very hard to make the case for NCA's full operation in Northern Ireland as a, as a potent fighting force to bring to justice those respons responsible for organised crime and other serious criminal activities. Peter Hain. 